Hi everybody, Ross Schaefer, and today I want to talk about how the Small Office Certified Financial Planner can win against the so-called big guys. Hi, Ross Schaefer here, and I'm glad you found the Relevant Leaders Club. It's my pleasure to help leaders make better decisions, grow their companies, and build strong teams. And today, I want to talk to those of you CFPs about what you can do to differentiate yourself from the so-called bigger firms. Now, first of all, it may shock you to know that in most industries, big fears small. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but if you operate a smaller office in a local community, you have an enormous advantage. You're a name, you're a face, you have a place of business in your community. I mean, you know people and people know you, which makes you someone who they believe is accountable. People assume you care about where you live and that you won't risk your reputation by messing up. Furthermore, if you're a member of your local chamber of commerce or service organization, you have the opportunity to directly make a contribution of time and energy to make your community better. And that matters to people. Now, I'm not just talking about writing a check for softball jerseys. I'm saying that your personal participation builds trust and generates an emotional commitment from your neighbors. But that trust does come with a big responsibility because you don't want to disappoint their expectations. And here's where differentiation comes in. As you know, a lot of insurance and retirement products look the same, but what's different is you, the person providing the products and service. The best CFPs are likable, they're very well informed, and they take a consultative approach to financial planning. Now, we've all heard that term, consultative approach, but what does that mean to potential clients? What does the client expect from you? The answer is this, world-class expertise. I like to compare uh, financial planning to what doctors call the WebMD effect, and I think you've probably experienced this. See, people feel sick, then they go online to self-diagnose their problem. They, they see a list of a dozen very common symptoms and then decide exactly what's wrong with them, and it drives doctors crazy because then they have to spend a lot of time doing what they call re-knitting the sweater. Same thing happens in your business. A client may do a lot of online research and then think they know how to direct their financial future, but they haven't made it a career like you have. So to differentiate yourself as a trusted advisor, you have to be smarter than the internet. Think of yourself as a business consultant. Business consultants consider the ROI of everything. And let's say you're meeting with a client who owns a business. Before the meeting, do some due diligence about what it takes to make money in their business. Use your experience and expertise with other clients to convince your new client you understand how the right people, the right processes, and the right gross margins will always create more ROI. Now, obviously, this is a great strategy for growing your book because the more money the client makes, the more money he will have to invest with you. The other big hurdle for a CFP is the constant upheaval in the financial markets because equities go up and down, interest rates go up and down, and news stations are on the constant prowl for any potential crisis they can talk about. And that's when your phone lights up. That's why you must always be the sensible one in the midst of panic. Your ability to stay calm and unshakable will be a great relief to your clients. Hey, if you like what you've heard here in the Relevant Leaders Club, you can see that we have other videos you might like, and please subscribe so that you can get our weekly updates. Hey, better yet, please comment below so that our entire community of leaders can benefit from your experience and your expertise. And you're welcome to download my free ebook, Are You Relevant? I'm Ross Schaefer, and I hope to see you next time.